The internet has exploded with people claiming to be time travelers and visitors from parallel or alternate timelines. We have had the discovery of a strange Nazi coin, the woman claiming to have brought photos from the year 3800 and others. In a recent article from notfromearth.com we see the world of time travel merging with the worlds of aliens and ufology. A self-proclaimed time traveler recently came into the public eye with some sensational announcements about humanity and the future alliance with extraterrestrials. Welcome to IF, videos on mystery and history. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to never miss a video again. So let's fire up our flux capacitor and hit that gas. We need to make it to 88 miles per hour and the year 2030. This is where we can catch up with Noah, the man claiming to be from this future and he has some important information for us. The time slider appeared on Apex TV and was prepared to answer as many questions as he could regarding the future. He did however have to keep some answers to himself to avoid any time paradoxes from occurring, although watching him slowly fade from existence would make for some pretty compelling proof. The interview covered many of the normal topics, disasters we could avoid, technologies we could look forward to, but it also strayed into unfamiliar territory of the UFO phenomena. Noah says that 2030 is the year we make contact, well at least officially, with ET. This is the date that the human paradigm of being the only intelligent species in the cosmos gets shattered. He added, this was however a great moment as we would unite with our new interstellar friends and things would be rosy. Answering a question so from an interested party, he says, intelligent alien life? Yeah, we do. Intelligent. Yeah, yeah, intelligent. Oh. Um, yeah, like they're able to know fly, which is actually the same. So Noah, we have the lie detector running right now and I'm, I'm really interested to see the results of this, but can you tell us for a 100% fact if you're telling the truth? Yes, for 100% fact, I am telling the truth. I am not a liar. I am a time traveler from year 2030. Do you swear to God? I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I swear to God. It's inevitable that we're going to get a lot of feedback. There was then a request from another member of the public asking Noah to tell them about the UFO's construction, specifically the interior of these craft. Noah claims that he did not remember much about the ship, only having been in one once. This was with friends where they kind of fooled around, moved the ship a little and then left, an experience similar to today's kids falling with their parents car. Noah claims that he came to our world from a future not so far from our own. He says he came from the year 2030 and that Noah's world is not that different from our own. According to him, the time traveler may have been smart to visit this time. Maybe he saw how popular his videos would become, racking up a large number of views on YouTube and other media platforms. Seeing his success, he came back to ensure it happened, guaranteeing his future or past internet stardom. Hmm, oops. Did we just hit one of those pesky time paradoxes? Noah would say that his arrival in 2018 is nothing but accident. He and his friends were fooling around and he was transported to the here and now. These guys have a great life, messing with UFOs and jumping through time. Teenage hijinks certainly has upped its game in the future. Speaking of his journey, he went on to describe how this group ended up in a government facility which of course was secret. They did however allow him first to change into a special time traveling uniform and then step into a giant electric dome and be shot to the year 2018. Very John Connor. But let's get back to some of his predictions for the year 2030. He told us that we would see another US president of color and a woman to boot. The granddaughter of Martin Luther King, Yolanda Rene King, would be elected to the presidency in the year 2030. 
she will then lead the nation in a time of war. But we shouldn't worry too much, the conflict will not be global. So it would seem US policy doesn't change much either in the future. Some of the technologies he mentions are not that outlandish. In fact, we have them today, with the obvious exception of time travel. Or maybe not, depending on the websites you visit. He mentions electric cars, the prevalence of VR technologies, and a path of technological development we can map today. It seems the future is going to be a pretty cool place. It does sound very much like the world of Futurama and something to look forward to. That is if you believe Noah. Do you think this guy has taken a little trip through time? Would you like to time travel? What do you think our future holds? Will it be VR, environmentalism and ET? Or a dark apocalyptic land of the machines? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy what we do here on the channel, please hit that subscribe button, like and share. You can find us across social media by searching We Are If. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.